All right, we're back with a few short videos on making R packages. And these are for my students in my class. And we're going to be talking about adding a custom function to your R package in this video. So we'll just make a function that R doesn't already have. And we'll add it to your package. Uh, first of all, I want to point out that in the last video, I said that we we're going to go to this website here that's listed inside the hello.r example file for building an R function. So grab that link. And if you pop it into your web browser, let's see, it should take you to this web page right here. This is a free book. It's called R Packages, and it's been written by Hadley Wickham and Jenny Bryan. It's a fantastic book on everything you need to know to build R Packages using RStudio. And this just gives you a bit of an example of what they go over. We'll be coming back and forth to this book as a reference as we go through the process of building an R package. We're going to be skimming a lot of details in these videos. So everything you need to know is over here. So do check that out. All right, let's get back to our studio and go through the process of making a new function and adding it to the package. So the things we need to do are fairly straightforward. The basic concept here is if I show you our file system, here is all the files that make our R package. And we mentioned last time that in the R folder, here we have the example template file, hello.r, which we see in the editor on the left. So what you have to do is add uh, new R functions to this folder. There's a few ways you can do this, but the simple way is make a new file and call it the name of your function. Okay, let's do it. I went up to the green plus here. We're gonna add our script. This comes up, it says untitled one. And let's go ahead and save this. Uh, can we see this? Uh, let's see. Here, I'm gonna save it. I'm choosing to save it in the R folder I'm going to save it as sem.r. So now I should have a new file here. It's called sem.r, and it's open, ready to write stuff in there. Every time I add something like a new line, this uh, file turns red, indicating it hasn't been saved, and I can Command S on my computer and save it. So we're ready to write a function. The bare minimum that we need in here is simply a function definition for something. I'm going to call it SEM. That's the name of my file. We're going to assign into SEM a function. Now, this is the general syntax for an R function. We simply use the assign operator. We write the word function. We've got two parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we can put the names of any inputs to our function. So I'm going to put x. And we have two curly braces. And inside of the curly braces is your code. I put a hashtag in front of that to make it a comment. What we're going to do is write some code to calculate the standard error of the mean. You should remember what the standard error of the mean is from class. Basically, we have a bunch of numbers. We're going to compute the standard deviation of those numbers, and we're going to divide by the square root of n of those numbers. Um, assuming that x is an input containing a whole bunch of numbers, so in R, that could be a vector of numbers. We could use the existing SD function to compute the standard deviation of X. And we could divide by the square root of the number of items or number of numbers in X. We can determine the number of numbers in X using the length function. So right here is the standard error of the mean for anything that's inside of x. This 
actually is sufficient. I'm going to be a little bit more declarative in the sense of um, doing two steps. This is a bit redundant, but just for purposes of illustration. Oops, I meant to put this just like this here. So what we're doing is we're taking the numbers inside of X. All of this computes the standard error of the mean of X, and it saves the variable. It saves what we computed in a temporary variable called my underscore SEM. So this calculation is now preserved inside the function when you run it, but we want to pop the answer out of the function. So just like a function has an input here, X, we're going to output the contents of our calculation using the return function. The return function is used to send information out of the function. What we want to send out is the value that is would be inside the my underscore SEM variable. Okay, so that was a short, short-ish example of writing a standard error of the mean function. We saved it in a file called sem.r. We have not done anything else besides write the function. I want to point out that if I um, try to run, let's say, inside the laser package, the sem function on some numbers, let's say one, two, three, this won't work because that function is not an exported object. It's, does, it's not in the laser package yet. All we need to do is run the function. Sorry. <laughs> All we need to do is rebuild the package. So I'm going to go back to the build tab, click install and restart. And let's see what happens here. S E M. And we can see that's in the laser package. So if I put some numbers in here, like one, two, three, four, five, now the SEM function, it's working. It's part of the laser package and you're ready to go. Now that has been a little example of adding a custom function to your R package. We're not totally done here. If we head back to R and go to the Packages tab, let's look up Laser, click it. Okay, let's check this out. This is the help file for the R package that we're making. And it has a listing for the hello file. That's that example that came with the template. If we click it, we could see it's got a minimal example of documentation for an R function. And notice the uh, function that we just made, SEM, it doesn't appear here. We haven't made the documentation yet. And we haven't given our R package a, a description of what it does. So in the next video, what we're going to talk about is documenting R functions, and we're going to use something called Roxygen two to do this. So stay tuned for the next video and we'll head into this topic. See you over there. Oh, paused. Still figuring out how to end the videos.